This is a, an Echo trimmer. It's not a professional grade trimmer and it's it's not a cheap trimmer. It's probably uh, somewhere uh, in the middle of the road. Uh, this is the top end of the uh, two-stroke engine on the trimmer. I've removed the cylinder and the head which is all one unit on these uh, machines. Uh, this is your cylinder. Uh, the piston fits inside of the cylinder here and moves up and down when the engine is running. This is your piston. On the piston you have two rings which is right here and right here. Uh, the, the piston is connected to the uh, connecting rod which is right here and the connecting rod is attached to the crankshaft. When the crankshaft rotates uh, the piston moves up and down inside of the cylinder like this. In this ex uh, example here you can see that the crankshaft is on both sides of the uh, connecting rod and this is how you would expect the crankshaft to look like. Uh, but there's another another way that these small two-stroke engine manufacturers design crankshafts and I believe it's primarily to uh, lower the cost of the engine. Here is uh, the other example I was talking about. This is a Ryobi uh, low-end trimmer. Uh, this is your connecting rod which is connected to the piston which you can't see and then the other this end of the connecting rod is connected to the crankshaft and you can see here that it's only half of a crankshaft. Um, you only have uh, the crankshaft supporting the connecting rod from one side. I believe the reason they do this is to lower the cost of this engine. Uh, if I turn the engine over you can see that the piston moves up and up and down on the cylinder and the, the crankshaft rotates. Uh, all this is invisible to the consumer. The consumer only sees the uh, uh, price tag. There's really no way to, to know about this unless you disassemble the engine. And uh, this is a, a perfect example of um, quality of the components internal to the engine and, it's, and hidden from the consumer. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.